All right, let me see how I did number eight. Okay, so to start here, uh, if you know this angle is 50, I can get uh, angle DFG for free just because they add up to 180 right here. So that one's 130. So what I'm looking at is this uh, really big obtuse triangle here. So you see how the 40 and the 130 are across from each other? So I can use that to set up my like my first uh, fraction for the law of sines. And the one I'm going to solve for here is angle G. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say sine of 130 is to 40. So that's my true one, the one I know. And on the right side, G and 22 are across from each other. So I'm going to say 22 on the bottom and sine of, I'll just call it angle G right here. All right. So once you have angle G solved for, like this is going to end up being, you'll, you'll use inverse sine and all that stuff. You're going to get G is equal to <clears throat> some actual number. You know, you'll figure that out. Well, if you know this, all right, so, so you solve for that. You know this is 90. Now you can figure out the actual question. The question was find EDG. EDG. Yeah. That'll, that should help you get that last angle right there because all three of those have to add up to 180. So really all you're doing is solving for uh, uh, angle G, and then you can kind of work backwards to figure out what this uh, angle D is right here.